Well, I think uh, what Senator Manchin did yesterday represents such an egregious breach of the trust of the president. And it's also, you know, this is exactly why uh, it's an outcome that we had warned about um, well over a month ago. Of course, we have every right to be furious with Joe Manchin. But it's really up to leadership in the Democratic Party uh, who, you know, made the decision to get us to this juncture and how we're going to move forward. And I think right now that uh, leader, Democratic leadership has a, a very large number of tools at their disposal, the president particularly. And it's really about time that, you know, we take the kid gloves off and we start using them to govern for working families in this country. Now, when that decision to separate and to advance uh, the, the bipartisan infrastructure bill happened, some of us took umbrage with that. And uh, the president did say that uh, that the bipartisan, I mean, rather that the Build Back Better Act was promised um, and that, you know, he's got it. And we said, you know, with respect uh, to the president, he can't, no one uh, can really be, promise a, a mansion vote. Our leadership needs to step up, and I think that we can do that. Uh, I, I do not believe that the situation is beyond repair, but it's going to take a different kind of thinking to get out of it than it did to get into it. Folks sometimes jokingly call Senate private school for a reason. Uh, we are treating the Senate, you know, just the fact that you can go on Fox News and say, I don't feel like voting for this, or I don't think I'm going to do it. Uh, but we really need mm -hmm. to create a governing environment in the United States Senate, make it tough, don't go on vacation, come back, call the vote, have to stand here, here. in front of your constituents and say, no, I'm going to take dollars, I'm going to take the food out of your kid's mouth, make him take that vote they had they made us take the vote for the bipartisan infrastructure bill god forbid that that they might actually have to show up and stand or or sit and actually have to talk and actually live out the threat of their filibuster i mean it is it is unconscionable the way that the senate operates it's fundamentally undemocratic the bill has already been retrofitted to joe manchin's liking let's make that extremely clear and so this is a Joe Manchin Build Back Better Act. And so this idea that we're going to go back to the table and give him the pen again for a bill that he has already have, has his ink all over makes very little sense. You know, being strung along has been uh, the, the path this entire time, this entire year.